What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another dope YouTube video. And today we're gonna make ourselves float across the sky in a quick and easy way using Photoshop and Adobe Premiere. So now what you saw in the opening sequence was me sitting on a rock in LA. And we'll talk about that picture when we hop into the computer. But yeah, so that's just where my imagination goes when I start creating content. I just was like, I want to float across the sky like the last airbender. Running for hours. I don't know why, but I thought this thing would be a lot faster. I was really watching a lot of airbender. I think I binge watched the last airbender on Netflix. And then I was just like, I want to do that. So that's where that picture came from. Okay, so today we're gonna make something quick and easy. Taking this cool photo that I took of me in LA sitting on a rock and the background of the same area. Now you can do this as well by taking yourself sitting somewhere like on a rock or something in the same atmosphere that you wanna be floating in. So that could be anywhere, sitting in a chair, sitting on a bench, sitting on a rock, you could be sitting on the ground. It's all how you can create your atmosphere. Now, before we hop in that computer, please, man, drop that like, drop that sub for the ODM creators, man. For real, come join the community. We drop in weekly. We drop in new content, new tips, and we got new on the way. So come join up, man. If you're not, you sleep. Don't be, don't sleep, man. Come on, tap in. Without further ado, let's hop in the computer. We gotta hop into the computer, guys. Don't mind me. I'm about to go get my hair done, so let's just bypass that. This is just a quick, easy way to go ahead and add some motion to your photos, to add some um, character to your content. So look, all you gotta do is, I took this picture. I went, I was in LA, as you can see. This is a picture I took of myself. Looks like now. Nah. My friend took it of me. I sat on a rock. Now, when I went into taking this picture, I knew I was gonna try to make myself float at some point in time, cause that's just the idea I had in my mind for content. So I was like, let me just find something that I can sit on that's gonna keep it like a still shot. So the basic thing is finding a good location. I felt like if I was sitting on a cool rock, I could make it look like I'm sitting on a cloud. And yeah, so basically all I did was cut this out and I had another picture with just the background without me. So I have me and I have just the background pretty much. And I colored the same everything. So I pretty much cut this out and I put like a, a cloud underneath it. So we're gonna go like to that. I opened up a new layer to the size and dimensions I know I wanted to use for um, Premiere. I cropped like the background. That Remember that background I just showed you guys with the empty space? I went and put that as the background and I put myself on the cloud. So if you look at it by itself, this is me on the cloud. So I went and I cut myself out and I put myself right on the cloud, you know, make your adjustments, stuff like that. Um, I feel like that was cool and I pretty much just saved it. I, I got three layers. I got me floating, I got the background, and I got like just another background for miscellaneous. Then you just save it. So now you got the three layers. I'm gonna just close Photoshop. Then we're gonna open up Premiere. Yeah, so pretty much all you do is create a new sequence, bottom new sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and use my custom four by five. And for the four by five, it's 1200 by 1500. That's what I use with the regular 24 frames per second. I just got that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna import that cloud touch. So you're gonna go find the cloud um, PSD. And you wanna do it as a sequence. So you have all your items. Your backgrounds, you're gonna go ahead and drop that background in there for the eight second mark. Go to about eight seconds, drag your background. Then you wanna drag your cloud of you sitting on the cloud, put that on there. So now we gotta size up everything so everything is um, pretty much right. So first is gonna be the background. Let's go ahead and size the background up. You want it a little bit bigger than the background cause it's gonna be moving. So you wanna give it enough space to work with. That's why we shot it like in landscape. So boom, make it just big enough, like right there. You want mostly sky, but you do wanna see a good amount of the ground as well. And for this, you're gonna start to position off at the end here, at the end. Cause it's gonna move side to side. 
you're gonna get a keyframe right around the one second mark. Get a keyframe at the position. Go to the end, pretty much. And then move it all the way to the other end. Go ahead and easy ease those to like easy ease out. Boom. And I want a nice cool little effect for it to come in. So I'm gonna fast blur in. You just type in fast and do a fast blur in and then do a flash blur out. And you have this, a moving background. Cool. And you wanna add a little directional blur on there just so you can give it a light blur. So it's nothing too crazy, but it, it still shows some motion. So the blur length, we just make it really, really small like there. And you want to shift it to where it's moving, the direction. So now you have this. Woo! Cool. Now you turn on your, your floating layer. The floating layer is a little small for me, so I do want to make myself a little bit bigger. Boom. Boom. Same thing. I do want to use that fast blur on that as well. Oh, no, no, no. What we can do is, all right, so boom. You have this and now I'm just floating. Now you could just leave it, that, that's enough motion. If you wanna stop right there, you're good money, but we wanna take it up a little bit more cause we wanna do sell this effect a little bit more. So boom, what I'm gonna do is do the position keyframe, start it outside of the frame, go about the one second mark where everything comes clear and everything starts moving. I'm gonna come into the frame now, boom. And all the way to about the end, I'm gonna have myself nudge just a little bit. Go ahead and keyframe those up. I'm gonna go easy ease in on this one. Boom, so now I got it. Cool. We're gonna add that fast blur in on this one. Same thing, fast blur out. Boom. It got motion. Now you don't have to, you could just add transform to give it a little shake on there. I already have um, Sapphire, so I'm gonna just add my Sapphire preset real quick to give me a nice little bobble. So now you have this nice little cool little bobble in the sky. You can achieve this effect with just moving the position up and down or the transform with the shutter, shutter angle at 180 if you wanna do that, if you don't have uh, sapphire that's fine so boom that's that and then like i said you do want to sell this effect a little bit more so i want to add some clouds in there so i'm about to go grab some clouds right now i got these moving clouds i'm gonna put those in i want them to move fairly quickly so i'm gonna use my ramp tool and bring it all the way down And that's just a speed ramp tool. You just gotta press R and you're good to go. And you see the clouds are moving with me, so everything's moving clearly. So we do gotta make some adjustments for that. And that's as easy as going to ultra key, keying out the green. That looks like a pretty clean cut to me. I do wanna add a little bit of color balance on there. So it matches the colors I got a little bit. I got kind of browns going on. Bring the saturation. Down a little bit. Boom. You want the clouds to match up just a little bit so it looks realistic, you know? Bring the opacity down. For this top one, you just want to play with the settings. I think I want to go with color burn. Yeah. Bring it down a little bit for these first top clouds. So then it just gives you that cloud type texture. You can just duplicate that. And then we'll just do normal clouds and then just bring it to like normal. Boom. And we're going to do a cross dissolve on the actual clouds. So they come in nice and smooth and boom. 
make these clouds probably a little bit bigger in the background bring the opacity down a little bit boom there you go and now it looks like you're floating through the sky put a little bit of music in there you can put some thunder you can put some other birds um flying in the background you can get creative you know but that's just a cool little starting point you know for you guys to use i just want to be able to help out as best as i could with some quick tips to use that i use when i want to add some motion um to some of my photos and give it that realistic type of vibe all right guys i hope that helped you guys in some way shape or form as always to inspire you to create something of your own now you can take those same principles and add it for your poem or add it for your rap lyrics or something marketing your project or your product you know what i'm saying have a hat floating in the sky or have your shirt floating in the sky or something like that get creative you know use different backgrounds it doesn't just have to be the simple background that you have you could use animated backgrounds and make motion out of them you know Get in your bag, get creative, man. But until next time, as always, it's Ali Dope, and I'm checking out. Yes, sir.